Welcome back guys. Today I am gonna set up a new sensor that is LPS 25 HP. Now I will be interfacing the sensor and I will be explaining everything about the sensor regarding its code. So to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's have a look about the sensor and the best way is to look over the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for the respective sensor that is LPS 25 HP and let's say it's a pressure sensor as you can see MEMS of the range is 260 to 1260 hectopascal absolute digital output barometer as you can see uh, these are some of its features and you can also purchase the sensor from here further I will be interfacing the sensor LPS 25 HP with an Arduino Nano and for that I will be interfacing it with a code that is Arduino code sample as you can see now you can also download the code from uh, this very site as a zip file this is the provided link here uh, also you can have the opportunity to download the code from github repository that is control everything community now let me show you how the hardware connections are to be made so that we can have the interfacing and the working regarding this sensor now for the hardware connections uh, this here is our sensor that is LPS 25 HP pressure sensor or a barometer now what you require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the Arduino Nano we require an I2C sheet and it's available on the website controleverything.com. Uh, we use this shield as it makes connections with other I2C devices also and make the connection a lot easier. So gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. Now to further make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield, we require a connecting cable just like this. Now gently place over the I2C shield along with the sensor and while making this connection, make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this for I2C shield. Now final step is to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes a mini USB cable into the picture just like this. Now gently insert it over the power jack and you can light it up. Hence we are done with the connections part. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code, explain it and let's see how it works. Now we want to show the code, the Arduino code. So let me tell you to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Now, Click over here and here search for the sensor that is LPS 25 HP as you can see on my screen and here we go and this is the Arduino code we are looking forward to explain. Now what do we require is to have a look over the instructions we need to follow before running this code and it says that we have to download and install Arduino software on our local machine and the steps are being provided on this very link. As you can see uh, let's have a look over the link so that we can have better view regarding the installation process. You can see we can download the Arduino software, install it in Windows, Mac, Linux operating system and for installation we can go further. Now what we need is to have a look over the code now and get back to it. Now it's a .ir extension file as you can see, the Arduino code. In the code as you notice first uh, step is to take to include the wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x5c. Next in the void setup function uh, we have initialized I2C communication as master along with serial communication equal to baud rate equal to 9600. Now in the writing section part what do we need is to select the control list one having address 0x20 and we have written here and the command we have set here is to set active mode continuous update and the command for that is 0x90 well in the next section we have the void loop function uh, where we will receive the data that the sensor has sent to us and that's called the reading part we have selected pressure data register that the address is 0x28 or with 0x80 register now from this very register we are receiving requesting and reading three bytes of pressure data as you can see on my screen we are pulling up data and we are having the values after that we have the conversion part of the pressure data that we have received and we are converting it using the details the formulas we have been provided in the data sheet for LPS 25 HP finally 
let's have the output data to be printed on the serial monitor so that we can see what we have done right now till now uh, so we have the pressure on the screen that is in hectopascal unit as you can see now this is a very simple code you can follow up all the relevant information is there now what do we require to have a look over the working of this code uh, regarding Arduino Nano let's have it now for the working environment let's copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal here now here we are gonna paste the entire code as you can see on my screen and save it and LPS is the name of the sensor we are gonna name it and for the reference uh, now verify and compile the code as you can see on my screen now it's done compiling now uploading the code it might take a while to upload now it's done uploading now what we gonna do is to have the values the output values on the screen and let's have the serial monitor to show that as you can see we have the pressure and the values are on there and it's a hectopascal it's almost constant as you can see now when I apply some pressure over the sensor there will be an increase in the pressure as you can see it's increasingly uh, there now I am continuously applying pressure now when I remove it it will get back to its normal position after some time as you can see it's been dropping it's continuously dropping now again I apply some pressure over the sensor you will see the inclination in the sensor pressure so this is how the sensor works with the Arduino code and this now what we are gonna do is to show the benefits the applications regarding this sensor let's have a look after that so we have seen the hardware connections explanation of the code working of the code regarding the sensor LPS 25 HP the LPS 25 HP is a PZO raised to absolute pressure sensor which functions as a digital output barometer the device comprises a sensing element and IC interface which communicates through I2C or SPI from the sensing element to the application. These features make it very important factor for the applications like altimeter and barometer for portable devices, enhanced GPS applications, weather station equipment, wearable devices and a lot more. As you see, you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the code from the resource tab and furthermore you can download it from there also. Also, you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. So, in the end I would just like to make it clear that you guys have any kind of feeling like you are left without fully understanding any part of this video till now. You can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page here. Now, if you want some articles, blogs relevant to this video, this sensor, you can contact us on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one to yourself also. Thanks a lot for watching.